Okay, to troubleshoot the uh, fan center. So we've got our terminal board here. Okay, now I want to find out if there's actually any power to this thing at all. Probably one of the easiest ways to find out, because it does have a fan center on it, and it does have a fan relay, I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to jump her from G to R. Now you can hear the fan came on. Obviously that has come on. You can hear the fan come on. So I know there's power to the unit. Uh, and I also know there's 24 volt because I had to energize this relay to get this fan to come on. So what have I found out? When I jumpered that and it worked, I found out I had high voltage power and low voltage power bowl. So the transformer's good. The relay's even good because when I energized the relay by going between G and R, the fan motor started. So it's telling me it's good. Now let's talk about some things that would happen if I did not read anything there. Okay, now you can see I've got a meter sitting here and it's in volts. Now I'm going to go from R to C. And you notice I'm not reading any volts. Okay, that means one of two things. Either my transformer has failed or I don't have any power to the unit. So I, I need to find some other way to find out if there's power to the unit. Okay, one of the simplest ways to find out if there's 120 volt power is use a non-contact voltage tester. Now these two wires here are the ones coming out from the uh, uh, door switch. And you notice I get nothing at all here. Nothing happens. Okay, so there's no power to this unit. Okay, this is not a perfect way to test because it only tests for the line that, ha that is hot. So um, you're not always going to find out if you have power. If for some reason the uh, polarity was reversed and the white wire was hot, you wouldn't find it with that. But it's a good quick way to check to see if there is power there. Now you could go to that white wire on the upper left there. And that, if you showed power to the white wire there, that would be telling you that the polarity was reversed. Okay, here's another condition I come up with. I've used my non-contact voltage tester. And okay, I've got power here. I'm not getting anything out of the 24 volt. Let's get hooked up there again. So, again, I'm going over here. I'm getting nothing. I had power coming in, but I had nothing coming out. There's only two problems could cause that. Number one, the transformer has failed. Number two, there's a wiring problem inside this uh, 4x4 box. So that's a fairly simple way to find out if the fan center is working okay. Uh, let's put another, uh, throw another one in there. Okay, another little thing I'm going to try. I came here and I found there was 24 volts here. So I'm going to put my probes up there. Okay, you can see I've got 27 volts. Okay. Now if I was to take a jumper and jump from W to R, then my burner should come on. Now, uh, I don't know if you can hear that too well, but the burners have come on. So I know that this will work down here. If I get the burners to come on when I jump from here to here, and yet it doesn't when I'm using the wall thermostat, then the wall thermostat is defective, the wiring's defective, or it's turned off or something. So, uh, I've just diagnosed at this point 
that if that thermostat didn't turn it on and it did turn on when I jumpered here, then uh, I've got a thermostat problem. Okay, in this case, I've jumpered from R to G and nothing happened. The uh, relay didn't make, uh, and so that's telling me that I've got a problem in the relay. You know, I can unplug the relay and test it, but uh, that's telling me because I went from R to C and it did not energize. And let's go over and look at, I'm going to put the probes on the meter. Okay, I've got one to common and one to G. I got 27 volts in, but the relay didn't make. So it's very possible that I have a problem with the relay. I think that's about it with this. Uh, they, uh, they're fairly simple to troubleshoot if you just take time to understand how they work.